Hey guys, welcome back to One Else Pub. Well, I had a minor catastrophe tonight here at the pub. The kegerator ran out. I have no beer to do my video tonight. Just this frosty mug. Ugh. But, I will soldier on. Thirstily, but I will soldier on. Alright, what I'm really here to talk about isn't uh, the uh, sad state of my kegerator, but this Delrin Hinderer tool made by Smoke Eater 908. Now, if you've managed to find my little corner of YouTube and my small little channel here on YouTube, you no doubt know who Smoke Eater 908 is. If by some chance you've been living in a lead cave the last couple of years, I will put his uh, a link to his channel down below. Check him out. Great, um, you know, great channel. Uh, great guy, funny guy. Uh, great videos, knives, um, alcohol stoves, uh, cutting tests, does really, uh, you know, a ton of cutting tests, um, uh, outdoor stuff, just a great fun channel. Um, so you absolutely definitely have to check him out and subscribe. Um, but a couple of months ago, I guess, or however long it's been, a couple, maybe a few weeks ago, I'm not sure exactly, uh, he had a prototype uh, of these Delrin tools. I think he did one for Strider or was going to do one for Strider too. I don't remember now. But he definitely had the Hinderer one, and he was talking about whether people were interested in them. And I t definitely took note. Um, and then um, on Instagram uh, this past week, he posted up that he had some uh, for sale. So I uh, jumped on one. Um, the uh, you know, and the, the price twenty five bucks. So you know, relative to what you pay for the Hinderer tool, um, it's a it's a pretty screaming deal. Uh, the 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 Hinderer tool itself, you know, is is an is an awesome piece of of. Uh, uh, of toolery, if that's a word, as well. Um, you know, it comes with the spanner tool here, and then the uh, you know the, the the flathead screwdriver, basically for um, you know working the actual you know pivot screw. And then inside, it's got the uh, five sixteenths um, driver, you know, to take the frame screws out should you need. Um, and you know, it's seventy five dollars. These things are not cheap. Now, you know, the knives aren't cheap either. And if you're gonna have the knives, you might as well have uh, the tool as well. And I, I love this tool. Um, but this idea um, that Robbie had here, uh, Robbie being Smoke Eater 908, um, of, of offering this then allows you to just use like a penny and a, you know one of these little um, little, little hex tools to uh, to substitute for the other functionality of this and for twenty five dollars and one cent or well I don't know what's that cost fifteen twenty cents you know for basically for twenty five dollars you have all the functionality that you have here and. Um, this is extremely light. You can keep the penny in your pocket, and this in, on your key ring, you'd never even know it was there. This is too heavy for me to carry around. I, it's just, it's a really stout, awesomely made piece of uh, uh, steel here. Um, but I just keep it in my Pelican case. Um, but one of the, um, you know, the, if there's a drawback to this, one of the drawbacks is that because it is stainless steel, when you're working on it, you know, you're in your metal on metal. Now, when you're metal on metal on the screw, it's not, you know, the, the, the spanner back here, you know, putting the spanner in, in, in the tool in, inside the slots here, it's not such a big deal. But if you're, sometimes these things can be tight. And if you're cranking and this slips off, it's easy to get up onto that titanium and, you know, rake that across there. You know, stone washing hides a multitude of sins and you're not, um, you know, you're probably too worried about it there. But if you have a blasted lock side or an anodized lock side or a custom hinderer, you know, not only do you have to worry about this, but if your pivot is turned, See if I have another example here. If your pivot is turned, well, that one's not good either. How about this guy? Well, I've got them all kind of facing this way, and that's kind of how I usually work them. But if your pivot, instead of being up and down like this, is horizontal this way, then your this tool ends up down here. And if you have, you know, like I said, a blasted lock side, that's down here rubbing on stuff, and it'll mark that up. I've done it, trust me. Um, so, you know, that... Is a, is a potential downside to using this tool. You just got to be real careful with it. This, on the other hand, solves the problem perfectly. You know, this plastic, you know, Delrin, but you know, it's plastic like material. It is not going to harm the, the lock side at all. It's very gentle to it. Plus, because of the way that it fits in, you know, cylindrically down the top, you're not even going to, and you know, whether you're not, you keep the keyring on there is up to you, but you're not even going to be, you know, have an opportunity to you know bang into the frame down here with it. So all you need to do is take your penny, take your tool, insert it, 
there, insert the penny there, and whoops, get it back in frame here, and adjust away. Uh, I've used it a couple times, works fabulous. So it's one all's a thumbs up for sure. Um, anyway, just wanted to uh, to go over that real quick and show you my, uh, my little Delrin tool from Smoke Eater. Uh, highly recommend getting it if you're a hinderer fan and have hinderer knives. It's a great little tool. Um, nice uh, additional accessory to have. All right. Well, that's it, guys. That's one all's two cents. Keep the change. You know, Slauncher just doesn't. By the way, in case you guys are wondering what that always means, Slauncher means it's Irish for cheers. And with an empty beer, it seems kind of hollow. Oh, well. Slauncher, guys.